So they both prayed. They both went to church. But Jesus is saying one of them, well, actually both of them were smelling themselves. Uh, one was smelling himself to the level that he thought he was better than the other man. And the other one took a good smell of himself and dropped his head. So I don't know what kind of smelling you're doing this morning. Some of you smelling yourself. Where did this smelling yourself come from? Well, when I was a child, I, I was around the house. And I remember when I started getting a little older and walking around poking my chest out. Got a little hair on my chin now. And a little hair around my mustache now. Thinking I'm a little man. And when my mother started telling me to do something, I wouldn't do it right then. So she started telling me, you're getting too big for your britches. And now you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. In other words, you think you're getting grown now. You Smelling yourself. You used to smell like a baby. Now you got a little grown folk smell now. That's what you're talking about. You're smelling yourself. Too big for your britches. And there's a whole lot of folk smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. Too big for your britches. I tell you why I know some of you are smelling yourself. There was a time when you were like me. And I, I won't ever forget that day when I went up against my little daddy. My little daddy was about the size of Todd Cersei, who wouldn't weigh no more than about 135 pounds. Am I right about that, Todd? I know you in the back, I'm talking about you, and then I'm not. But my daddy only weighed 135 pounds, and my mother weighed nearly 300 pounds. Am I right about that? Oh, praise the Lord. And I didn't think my daddy was strong. I thought that little man didn't have no strength. He never hit me a day in his life. But one day I poked my chest out at him and went to woofing about what I didn't like in the house. And when he went upside my little head, I don't know where I was. I found out that's a strong little man. He said, you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. He said, this is my house. My way, do way, or highway. I was smelling myself. If you're going to try to run your daddy's house, then you need to get your own house. You can't be grown in your folk house and they paying all the rent and paying all the bills. And that old man was working 12 hours a day. And here I am talking about what I don't like and can't even pay rent. Smelling myself. I went up against my mother one time because I was a preacher and I was out of the will of God not doing what she told me. And I started using the Bible on her. When she got ready to whip me, I said, Mama, no weapon formed against me. Shall prosper. She says, and yes, by his stripes you are healed. I was smelling myself. I was talking back to her. And a whole lot of you children are smelling yourself. But you're not the only one smelling yourself. There's some church folk smelling themselves. There used to be a time you used to go to church. You used to walk to church. You didn't have no car. You were glad to go to church. And you went to church. Stayed all day long. Had a good time. Praising God. And now, some of you got cars that you can't even pay for. Some of you riding around in cool cars with hot tempers. Am I right about it? And now you won't even come to church. Stay at home and call me the TV preacher. I'll catch Reverend on the air. Or that new thing now, I'll go on the website and go on the internet and watch church trying to come up with a reason for not coming to church. I got news for you. When you were down and out and didn't have what you have now, you went to church. But now that you got a little something, you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. You won't even come to church. Oh, I know I'm right. 
Some of you right now smelling yourself. There used to be a time you used to pray in church. You used to shout up and down the house. You praise God. You didn't care who was looking. You didn't care what nobody said. You came to shout. You came to have a good time. But now that God had moved you from neck bones to T-bones, from horsebacks to Cadillacs, I'm all right about it. And now you got a little edumentation. The church that you used to shout in, you said, don't take all that. I don't know what they're shouting about. This church is full of fogeyism. All that jumping and shouting in low church. You need to be in the liturgical church. Sit quiet and just listen. But I got news for you. The trouble with you, you used to shout. You used to have a good time. I know what's wrong with you now. The reason you can't move, you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. You can't stand a blessing. A little blessing go to your head. Now you can't say amen. You can go to the clubs, holler all night long, go to the ball game, screaming to the top of your voice, and coming in God's church that help got you through, where you got your deliverance, where you got your breakthrough, where you got the blessing God has given you. And now it doesn't take all that. I know what's wrong with you. You're too big for your britches, and you're smelling yourself. Come on with me now. Oh, look at your neighbor and tell it like it is, neighbor. If you're not doing what you're supposed to do, I got news for you. Your bitch is too big and you're smelling yourself. That's what it is. Preachers smelling themselves. They used to preach in the church. They used to give it all they had. They used to sweat for the Lord. And now they're walking around like lawyers. Walking the floor, pleading a case. Am I right about it? But I'm going to tell you what's wrong with some of these preachers. They're getting too big to preach. They want to be cool, daddy. Cool, daddy. Don't sweat and don't raise your voice and be cool, daddy. Cool, daddy. But I got news for you. If I can sweat for the devil, I ought to be able to sweat for the Lord. I tell you what's wrong with you. You got air conditioned churches, padded pews, nice glass stained windows, and now you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. You don't want to preach no more. Oh, I'm telling the truth. And some of you quiet folk, smelling yourself. You're trying to sing cute, sweet, lovely. Some of these songs, you don't know whether somebody's talking to God or some woman. It's so sexy. The way some of these gospel singers singing nowadays. You don't know what you're listening to. But all oh, that was a time when gospel singers were singing from the heart. That was a time folk didn't come to church to see what other folk had on. That was a time people didn't come to church to have a little fan club. That was a time when people came to church and had church on their heart. It was not a social club. There used to be a time we didn't mind praising God. But oh, look at you now. Look at you now. There used to be a time you didn't have this soap you got now. You got ivory soap. But I remember when you had pot ass soap. Now you're smelling yourself. Smelling yourself. There used to be a time you women didn't have stockings. I remember when you had to grease your legs. Come on with me now and put that old raw crown greasing your hair and that old straightening comb and straighten your hair. Now you can weave it in now and throw it everywhere and won't even say amen. I tell you what's wrong with you. You're getting too cute, smelling yourself, smelling yourself. There used to be a time deacons used to get on their knees to pray. And you could hear God when they prayed. Now you'd be doing a good thing if you get one to even pray.